So this video is going to look at Piaget's theory of conservation. Now on your specification, you need to know about the development of conservation and also McGarrickle and Donaldson's Naughty Teddy study. So because that's a study named on your specification, we've got to know it inside out. Now, Piaget's development of conservation. Um, conservation is an example of how children's thinking develops as they get older. So remember, that's one of Piaget's main ideas. As a child gets older, their thinking, their cognition becomes more sophisticated. Now, younger children, and Piaget said this was children under seven, find it really difficult to understand quantities do not change. And this also applies to numbers, and we'll look at a few examples in a minute. So if you look at these pictures at the bottom here, um, in the first picture, you've got two cups full of water. And then when we put the same amount of water into a thinner, taller glass beaker, the child thinks there's more in that taller beaker. They can't understand that there's the same amount of liquid in both of them. Their thinking isn't sophisticated enough to understand that. So conservation describes the ability to know that when the appearance of something changes, the quantity or the amount also remains the same. Now, Piaget says that children develop the ability to conserve when they're about seven years old. So most of you will understand it because you have that ability. Now, there's a few different examples here. If you look on this top line with the counters, um, a young child, when they're presented with both rows of those counters, They'll say there's the same amount of counters. Then when we squeeze the bottom row and put them a bit closer together, they'll say that the top row has more counters because they're more spread out. And again, there's a few different examples here that young children under the age of seven would really struggle with. They would not understand that although the shape changes, the quantity or the amount in each is the exact same. So young children were unable to conserve quantity. They're unable to understand they stayed the same when something was changed or moved. And in Piaget's theory, children didn't develop this ability until seven years of age. Now, we're going to start to look at the study that's named on your specification, this Naughty Teddy study. So the aim of this study really was to investigate whether young children can conserve when accidental changes are made. So in Piaget's original studies, the children could see Piaget moving them. Maybe that affected the results. What this study wanted to look at was, if it was an accidental change, would the children also fall for the same mistake? So they wanted to check if Piaget's results were because the children knew the counters were moved deliberately. So they got 80 children, all from Edinburgh, from ages four to six, and they were shown two identical rows of counters, a little bit like that image earlier in the video. And they were asked whether they were the same number of counters in each row. So we had 40 children from a nursery class, and we had 40 children from a primary school. Now, then a naughty teddy was introduced and accidentally moved one of the rows of counters so they were more spaced out. Again, the children were asked whether they were the same number of counters in each row. So a little bit like here, we've got experimenter, gets a naughty teddy, and that naughty teddy spreads those white counters out a little bit more. Now the results, over 60% of the children gave the correct answer, that they were the same number of counters in each of the rows. But a higher number of the older children gave the correct answer compared to younger children. So what did they come up with? What was their conclusion for this study? Well, it suggests that children under the age of seven can conserve and that the ability to conserve number increases with age. So again, this contradicts Piaget's theory and it shows that Piaget underestimated young children's ability to conserve quantity. 